I don't know what's happened because I was in the plane when yep. everything's happened. You so, were flying here? Yes, I was uh, from London to Vegas. So I just play some games, you know, no Wi-Fi on the plane, so uh, no connection. So I don't know what's happened. You know, when yeah. I landing, I read message from my manager that we're going to have title shot. So I read this four times because I cannot believe, you yeah, know, yeah, after yeah. 10 hours fly, you are a little bit dizzy. Yeah? For me, the most important, I don't know how it's barsh in English language. This is soup with beans. Soup with soup beans? With the red soup, I don't know. Soup? Soup. With For beans. Christmas dinner? Yes. I've got a couple, you know, <laughs> ways of finish the fight. But for me, the perfect finish, what I see in my mind when I do my reservation is uh, third round KO. The former, potentially soon to be once again and new. And new again. And new. There we go. Jan Blachowicz, <laughs> Mr. Polish Power. It's good to see you, brother. Good to see you too. Legendary Polish Power. There it is. There it is. You're looking nice and lean. You know, two days uh, to the fights, I have to look good, you know. Yeah, of course. Slim. <laughs> so making 205 as opposed to 206, that's not going to be an issue. Just one pound, so nothing. Yeah, yeah. Um, when you found out Yuri was hurt and was out of the fight, what went through your mind? I don't know what's happened because I was in the plane when yep. everything's happened. You so, were flying here? Yes, I was uh, from London to Vegas. So I just play some games, you know, no Wi-Fi on the plane, so uh, no connection. So I don't know what's happened. You know, when yeah. I landing, I read message from my manager that we're going to have title shot. So I read this four times because I cannot believe, you yeah, know, yeah, after yeah. 10 hours fly, you are a little bit dizzy. Yeah? I showed it to my coach. And he said, yeah, we've got title shot. So we just was happy. I don't know why. Why? What's happened? After a couple hours, I called to her and asked what's happened. She explained me everything about, about Diri. Mm. I wish him best, uh, you know, first of course, recovery. Of course. But it is what it is. I take my chance, you know. Yeah, yeah. Everybody will do it on my place. So 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, absolutely. But that must have been like, a, a very nice surprise. That's an early <laughs> Christmas present, Exactly right? that. Exactly that. Yeah. And I'm happy that it happened in this way because I can be focused all the time on my camp, you know? Mm. No interview, no media, everything was, you know, right Right now I've got a lot of work to do. Yeah. But before, just few interviews and that's it. So that's, if they oh, will, sorry. If, uh, you know, if this will be fight for the bell, everybody will know it in the beginning of my camp. So all the time, someone would, would invite me somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I have, my mind was clear, just prepare for the fight. And after, you know, when I'm landing, okay, title shot. And so that's two weeks before the fight. Yeah. Is this going to be five rounds or three rounds? Five. Five rounds. And cardio-wise, not an issue. I'm okay with cardio. Yeah. For me, it's better five rounds. Yeah. Uh, I feel better when I've got more time inside octagon for yeah. fun. So yeah. for, for, for me, it was weird when I start preparing for three rounds, you know, because yeah. I don't remember when I last time fight three rounds. So that was weird for me. <laughs> yeah, but, um, so we're back to normal, you know? Yeah, because, I mean, if you train hard for three rounds, you can still go five rounds. Of course. In the training camp, you always do more than three, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I was ready for five rounds. We just, after, when, you can, when we're landing and we go to the training, we do just, you know, last two sessions of sparring for the, you know, longer time, yeah? So, yeah. And I feel good, so I'm ready for it. So for tell this. me about Magomed Ankalaev. Of course, you've got a great record. Only been beaten once by Paul Craig. Yeah. Uh, what are you expecting from this guy? You know, and where do you think that you have an advantage? Mm -hmm. Tough opponent, South Pole position. That's gonna be the worst thing. But I fight a couple of times against uh, you know uh, South Pole guys, so I know how to fight against them. Yeah. I would like to keep my the, the fun fight, fight in stand up. You know, mm -hmm. I like this this I like you know punches, kicks. Yeah. So this is where I would like to keep the fight. But I'm ready for his wrestling. I know that he's good. Uh, wrestler, good ground yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. Maybe he's not like submission guy, but he know how to control you and mm. uh, punch very hard. So I have to be ready for that. But we do a lot of kind of this yeah. job. So, so I'm going to be ready for that. So but a lot I of takedown defense. Yeah, a lot of takedown defense. But also I train, you know, if I'm going to have opportunity to take him down, I will do it. Why not, mm. you know, to be on the top. It's, it's also a good position for me. So you were the first guy to beat Israel Adesanya. You know, yeah, and you, not and anymore, you, not anymore. Well, not anymore, of course. <laughs> but hey, you, you were the first. Yeah, I'm the you first. You took the prize, you took the throne. Yeah. But, um, Obviously, the striking was great in that you used some wrestling as well. But does the fact that you were able to stand and beat Izzy at his own game, does that give you confidence coming into this fight? Another tall guy, because Izzy switches stances. Do you see, obviously, Magomed's going to wrestle way more. But do you see any similarities in their styles? You no, know, you can find some similarity between uh, Ankalaev and uh, Izzy and uh, Reyes or yeah. Rocco, yeah? but yeah. everybody's different. You know, sure. Different angles, different way of thinking, and this makes you always a little bit different. Yeah. But I'm doing this all my life, you know, not only like a pro, yeah? yeah you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? So I'm ready for everything, you know? Yes. I'm ready I mean, there's for a, lot, for, yeah. a lot at stake here this weekend. I mean, every fight we know, every fight's always a big deal. Yeah. You know, number one, 
you're fighting to not get beat up in front of the entire world, but there's a lot of, there's money, there's rankings, there's all the rest of it. But now the stakes, champion of the world. I mean, Again. do you allow yourself to think about that? Do you sleep at night? Because, <laughs> yeah. you know. I, this is good because I sleep very well. I catch the climb at the time zone, so it's good. Yeah. Uh, I sleep, I, you know, I will do the same met, uh, mindset what I have be before Rias, you know. Mm. I know that this title shot, but I think like, you know, okay, because I don't want to put more pressure to my head, you know. Okay, this title shot, I know that, but it's like a usual fight. Mm. It's very important, like every fight, you know. And after, uh, when they not give me the belt, I will know what's happening again. Have you allowed yourself, you know, when you're alone, when you're letting bed at night, to, to picture Dana White, wrapping that belt around <laughs> your waist. You know, I see the smile on your face, you know? You know, my drinking can happen again. So yeah, I see this a couple of times <laughs> again. So yeah, I do this visualization all the time. Obviously with Yuri getting injured and that fight not happening, were you surprised that Glover Teixeira wasn't fighting either yourself or Magomed? You know what? I don't think what Glover thinking right now. I have to be focused about Ankalaev. Yeah. I don't care why he don't accept this fight. What was, is his, is his mind, this is his problem, not mine. Yeah. We can talk about everything after the fight. Then I can check sure, what he say, sure. what he do and everything. Now I'm focused about Saturday and Kalaev. I don't care what's happening on in internet. You know, so right things now. go your way Saturday night. You become champion again. I think you is going to be out for a little bit. Do you think Glover, Glover will be your first title defense? I think so. He, he, I, I hear that Dana White also say something like this today. So, right. Yeah. I guess it's only fair. And you know, this is only one rematch would I like to take, uh, you know, again, because uh, I would like to prove myself that I can fight much better against Glover and even beat him, you know? And I never lost the rematch, so mm. why not? What did you think with the fact in the first place that they'd done a rematch between Yuri and Glover? Because the fight in Singapore was amazing. Did you understand that or were you a little frustrated? Mm -hmm. The first fight or? No, no, no. The, the fact that they were rematching straight away for the belt. But did that frustrate you? Because obviously you were ah, challenged. In the beginning, in the beginning, maybe a little bit, <coughs> but uh, there's nothing I can do. So I yeah. will have to be angry and stuff. So that not, not change anything. Yeah. Just, I'm going to waste my energy for that. So, sure. so okay, it is what it is. I need to do one more fight. And we've got yeah. Uncle Yeah, yeah. So, and so anyway, <laughs> everything's happened that I've got the Everything worked out perfectly. You know. And the fact that you were co-main event, was that kind of, was there like unofficially you were the backup? No, I wasn't. There was never any talk of Nobody that. tell me something. Like okay. That. Yeah, because they started doing that. That's a new thing, right? Yeah. But no, nobody. Yeah. But anyway, if they tell me in the fight day that I can fight, I will do it, you know? <laughs> so I will be ready. For, so when the for, referee says fight Saturday night, what are you expecting out of him? What do you think his opening approach is going to be? He's going to, you know, use his right hand, left kick. I'm going to, I have to be ready on that in stand up. And I think he will, you know, Try to push me to the cage, grab me onto my hips and yeah, take me yeah, down. Yeah. I think this is going to be his game plan. Yeah. In, yeah. you know, short way. <laughs> yeah, no, of course, absolutely. I'm excited for him, man. I can't wait. Me it's going to be incredible. So you get to fly home as a two-time champion no. of the world. What are you expecting when you get back to Poland? You know, Poland will be crazy again, I hope so. You know, we're going to celebrate <laughs> together yeah, it's again. It's going to be amazing. Because that's what happened the first time was crazy. So I expect the same or even more right now. Yeah, yeah. And then it's Christmas as well. That's just around the corner. Talk about a perfect Christmas present. Yeah, of course. The <laughs> bed will be the perfect Christmas present, yes. What is a traditional Christmas dinner in the Blahovich household? Uh, for me, the most important, I don't know how it's barsh in English language. This is soup with beans. Soup with soup beans? With the red soup, I don't know. Soup? Soup. With for beans. Christmas dinner? Yes. Come on. For me, it's the most important. No turkey? Important. No, no turkey. meat? We eat fish in the, you know, there is a lot of meat, but for yeah, me, yeah. it's the most important that barsh. I don't know how it's in English, okay, barsh okay. with beans, you know. My mom always do it. And now when I spend the time in, in different places, yeah, you know, yeah. with my family or something like this, so someone have to prepare this for So, me. So in, <laughs> in Poland, they don't do a turkey dinner. That isn't a thing there? Sometimes we do this. Uh, yeah. but No, uh, but not for Christmas. That's for, not a traditional. Christmas, the uh, tradition is fish. Okay. Yeah. Oh, interesting. All right. Yeah. All right. Okay. Let's go back to your fight with Glover that night. Yeah, obviously, you know, it was a good night for Glover. You lost your belt. What did you learn in that fight? Mm -hmm. the, <laughs> then I need to change my way of thinking about and the way of how I train right now. You know? Right. Because I'm not 30 years old guy anymore. So I cannot train like, you know, 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. That was the most important thing. And also some mental changing also, you know. Yeah. Now I work with mental coach. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm the place where I need someone like this, you know. 
And how does that help? Because I worked with one of them before and a lot of it... I do a lot of of this uh, thing, like uh, I do with my coach right now, but just she showed me the way how I should do in correct way. Right. Because I do this battle, you know, like this. Now I've got straight to the to the target, you know. Are you feeling a lot of pressure? Of, of course I feel the pressure, but I like this feeling because I can change this uh, this kind of feeling for fuel, you know. Yeah, yeah. I remember that I have a couple of fights without any pressure, no emotion, and I lost this fight, you know. Mm. So if I feel this pressure, okay, this is good because it's important when you feel the pressure. If you don't feel the pressure, who, who cares? Yeah, Even sure. you don't care. So. Well, that makes you a better fighter. Yeah. It gets the adrenaline flowing, all the rest of it. But so you, you have to know how to change for fuel because sometimes you feel the pressure, you know, you're stuck in that. Yeah, no, absolutely. Stuck, so yeah, yeah. To find a way how to change for fuel. So Saturday night, you go out, you become a two-time champion of the world. I believe in that. Glover to share is the first defense, but how's the fight going to play out? How's it going to end? What are you predicting? I've got a couple, you know, <laughs> ways of finish the fight. But for me, the perfect finish, what I see in my mind when I do my reservation is uh, third round KO. Third round KO. Third round yeah. KO. Heard it here first. Well, can't wait for it. Me too. (laughs) All the best, my brother. Thank you. Good luck. Thanks.